500 years had passed and the fruits of Christianity in the Philippines is now being relished by the faithful all over the country. Together, let us take a trip down memory lane and look at the most eventful times in our diocese as we take part in this momentous event of our Christian faith. On the place that used to be Rice Paddies 70 years ago, now stands the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, the seat of the Diocese of Cubao. In 1935, a small chapel was built on rice fields and was administered by Father Henry Desmond, a priest from the Society of the Divine Word. The SVD priests attended to the pastoral and spiritual needs of a limited farming community. The chapel built was dedicated to San Isidro Labrador and belonged to Sacred Heart Parish in Camuning. On December 8, 1949, the patron San Isidro Labrador was changed to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. On July 15, 1950, the community chapel was canonically erected to become the Immaculate Conception Parish with Father Juan Simon as its first parish priest. After many years, the SVD community passed on their legacy and turned over the administration of the Immaculate Conception Parish to the Archdiocese of Manila on April 30, 1990. Monsignor Rinaldo Celso was installed as the first diocesan parish priest by His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin. With the continued growth of the Christian community that was becoming more and more diverse with the influx of Filipinos migrating from the provinces into the city, the Archdiocese of Manila recognized the ever greater challenge of keeping the faithful together. The Archdiocese needed to give birth to suffragan dioceses. On June 28, 2003, the Diocese of Cubao was established. However, a diocese doesn't stand on its own without having a cathedral. The word cathedral comes from the Latin word cathedra. It means a seat. It's more of the symbol because a seat is a piece of furniture, just like the chair of the board. We don't speak of a chair, but it's the position of someone in a corporation. So in the Catholic Church, we use the word cathedral to signify the place where the bishop, you know, resides. Well, when you say episcopacy, it means uh, literally it's a Greek overseer. So the bishops are asked to oversee a particular jurisdiction of the church, which we call diocese. So in a diocese, there is only one cathedral. And usually that's the place where the bishop resides. Maybe the strong devotion of a particular community. And so they name it just like uh, in the diocese, we have four parishes under the patronage of Mary, the Immaculate Conception. And Christ, who is higher, of course, Christ the King, we have only two, okay? Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we have two. So how come? I think it's more of the choice of the people, their devotion, their subculture. Filipinos' Marian devotion was undeniable and has never been stronger. This is the reason why the Filipino people have been called Weblo Amanda de Maria, or people in love with Mary. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is known for promoting the devotion to Mary. This focus is evident not only in the pastoral activities that build up the devotion, but also through the art depicted on its walls. The beautiful stained glass windows of the cathedral exhibit the most important scenes of the life of Mary. The Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary 
the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and image of Our Lady of Pentecost. You know, when we were doing the renovations, we I followed the the style of the church, which is of the cathedral, which is parang neo-Romanesque, na may pagka neoclassic. So, ang, ang inspiration are also from sources na ganun. For instance, in the 19th century, there was um, there were churches in Europe that were built in that style, like the um, Sacre Coeur and the um, Almudena in Madrid. And those are among the sources that I looked at uh, and got inspired. I also looked at a lot of uh, classical paintings. Uh, I, I said we have to choose um, also scenes in the Virgin's life that have some kind of dramatic impact when we build the stained glass. So the, the three large windows, of course, for the facade, we have the Immaculate Conception. And then some, some lateral facade facing Lantana, uh, the Blessed Virgin as uh, the mother of the church, so Pentecost. That's why we, we chose Pentecost. And then uh, the opposite side, of course, kasi uh, I have a devotion for St. Joseph and, and so did Monsignor Dan. So we both agreed to dedicate that window to St. Joseph. Truly, the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is not just rich in history, but also a perfect presentation of art and devotion. The cathedral that has withstood the test of time for seven decades has also been a place that witnessed remarkable events in the diocese. Ordinations, weddings, establishment of the diocese's judicial tribunal, and a solemn rite for the opening of the cause for beatification and canonization of the servant of God, Darwin Ramos, on August 28, 2019. And although a lot of memories have been made in the years past, we still have many things to look forward to. A very important para sa cathedral na maipasa, no? maipasa yung pananampalataya, no? maishare no? sa mas maraming tao. Uh, at, at sana yun ang magpatuloy. No? Uh, at, at this is a responsibility of everyone that uh, yung bawat isa may maiaambag, yung bawat isa may maibibigay para siguraduhin na yung pananampalataya ay naibabahagi. No? And that is every responsibility of parents, for example, in their family, tapos yung catechists no? sa mga estudyante nila, o kaya sa mga fellow ministers. No, I think what is important is uh, we continue to grow in our motivation to share. No? Ang debosyon sa mahal na birhen, paalaala sa atin, ay ang paglalim ng ating kalooban na matulad sa kalooban ng mahal na birhen Maria. So, imitation. No? Ang tunay na deboto ng mahal na ina ay ang pagtulad sa kanya. Tularan ang halimbawa ng mahal na birhen. At yan, walang kapalit yan sapagkat yan ay kalugud-lugud. Hindi lang sa mahal na ina, kundi sa ating Panginoon. Hindi pwede tayo magpatalo sa takot. Eh, no? Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan para ibahagi ang uh, pananampalataya na tinanggap natin mula sa Panginoon, mula sa mga misyonero. Lagi tayo maghahanap ng paraan kung paano maging misyonero, kung paano maging magbisyon. No? We always have to look for ways. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Online. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Social media. No? Anong meron tayo ngayon? Chat. No? Napakaraming pwede nating i-message mga kaibigan, mga kakilala na dumadaan sa mga pagsubok o kaya naman may sakit o nasa quarantine. No? We have to, kailangan natin silang kamustahin araw-araw. We continue to find ways how to spread the good news.
Oo, maraming pagsubok, maraming nawawala ng pag-asa, pero nasa puso ng pananampalataya natin, meron pa rin mabuting balita. At kailangan hindi tayo nawawalan ng lakas at ng gana para maghanap ng mga pagkakataon para ipahayag ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao joins the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlugod Lalaganap alam ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon Kaloob sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo, katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan. Sa sanyal na ito maniniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Mang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Mang daang taong Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Isyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto Handa kami, Panginoon! May gusto ka bang sabihin sa simbahan? Aba, ito na ang pagkakataon mo. First time na inanyayahan tayong makibahagi sa Synod of Bishops. Gaganapin ito sa 2023. Subalit dalawang taon ang paghahanda para dito dahil malawak ang paanyaya ng Santo Papa sa buong mundo. Isipin mo to, layunin niya na imulat sa atin ang pagiging Synodal Church, ang sama-samang paglalakbay natin bilang simbahan. Nagkakabuklod, nakikibahagi, nagmimisyon. Lahat kasama, kasali at kasalo. Maging hindi katoliko, pambihira ito, di ba? Lahat naman talaga tayo ay kabahagi sa plano ng Diyos. 
Noong October 2, pinangunahan ni Bishop Onesto ang Tioko ang paglulunsad natin ng Diocesan Synodal Consultation. Hinimok niya tayong sumama at makilahok. Sa ngayon, isinasagawa na ang consultation sa mga parokya. Alamin lang ang parokyang nakasasakop sa iyong lugar at makipag-ugnayan dito. Simple lang ang gagawin mo sa consultation. May mga grupo kang sasamahan, maaring online o face-to-face. -face. Makikipagkwentuhan ka lang. May mga tanong sa bawat paksang pag-uusapan. Gabay ito sa pagbabahagi ng iyong saloobin o karanasan. Simple lang, di ba? Pero kahit simple, may nakamamangha dito. Alam mo kung ano yun? Dahil magsasalita sa iyo ang Espiritu Santo, gayon din sa mga kagrupo mo. Ito'y pambihirang biyaya na tinanggap natin sa binyag. Hayaan mo siyang magsalita. Makinig ka. O, oh, hindi ba't napaka-amazing ng kwentuhan? Akala mo siguro focus group discussion itong sasamahan mo, no? Hindi. Tawagin natin itong kwentuhan sa Espiritu Santo. Ito'y isang discernment process na ang banal na Espiritu ang gumagabay at nagtuturo sa marami ninyong pag-uusapan. Ganito ang Synodal Consultation, Puspos ng Espiritu Santo. Para itong isang Pentecost event kung saan ang Espiritu Santo ay nagpamalas ng kapangyarihan sa mga alagad. Ang nakamamanghang karanasang ito ang nagbunsod sa kanila na mangaral at simulan ang misyon ng simbahan. Ito ang layunin ng Synodal Consultation, not to produce documents but to plant dreams, draw forth prophecies and visions, allow hope to flourish, inspire trust, bind up wounds, weave relationships, awaken a dawn of hope, learn from one another, and create a bright resourcefulness that will enlighten minds, warm hearts, and give strength to our hands. Tara na sa parokya, makipagkwentuhan ka. Kubaw tayo, sama-samang nangangarap para sa ating simbahan. Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019 upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan, narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at wag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok. Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawain bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, Para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang 
Bagamat hindi mahapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito'y hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, tumuloy ka sa Espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba. Please stand for the prayer of invocation to the Holy Spirit on the occasion of the parish synodal conversations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the memorial of St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. The presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Bishop Ness. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made, and all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we have expressed in the opening song, 
we have many reasons to rejoice, to sing, to praise God. And so today in the gospel, we are reminded that we should always be grateful for the countless blessings that we receive each day to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration. Let us ask forgiveness for all our shortcomings and sins. You were sent with the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope Saint Leo, she may find firm, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, your magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude, and lord it over throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord, and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall prove your works and scrutinize your counsels? Because, though you were minister of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law, nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows nor partiality, nor does he fear greatness. Because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princess, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learn in them will have ready a response. Desire therefore my words, long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor. From the hand of the weak, deliver them. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. 
I said, You are gods, all of you sons of the Most High, yet like men you shall die and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed, and one of them Realizing he had been healed, return, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sang pinagpala at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Wow, thank you for coming this morning. More and more, we get people for our daily Masses, including our Sunday Masses. We praise God. So for our reflection this morning, today, allow me to share two pointers. One on the first reading and the second on the gospel reading. So since Monday, we've been taking excerpts from the Book of Wisdom, and we'll be reflecting some excerpts from this book until Saturday this week. So the book runs for 19 chapters, and it has three main sections. It was written about 100 years before the birth of Jesus, and its primary purpose was to edify people who are experiencing suffering and oppression. Tamang-tama sa ating kapanahunan, marami tayong pagsusubok, marami tayong kahirapan. So, in such a situation, people needed to rely on true wisdom which comes from the Lord. So, we are still in the first section, the reward of justice. 
This section opens with a call to rulers of the earth to seek justice and wisdom. Sabi nga nila, with great power comes great responsibility. This is a good reminder for those who have some authority, both in the church and government, especially to those who are seeking some government position this coming 2022 election. Whatever power or authority we may have, it all comes from God and it is a gift. God is the source and our task is to use well, to act responsibly and to be always at the service of others. The greater power we have, the greater will be our accountability to God. In the Gospel, we hear about the healing of the ten lepers. We heard how from a distance they cry to Jesus for mercy. He sees them in their need. You know, that time the lepers were isolated from the community and from their families. In fact, they were considered dead. And a lot of them would live or stay in cemeteries and they had to separate themselves from their own people. So that was the situation. The eyes of Jesus' compassion know no bounds when he sees the ten lepers. He cures them immediately. Being cured meant that the lepers could return to their families and to the community. In this Mass, my dear friends, like the lepers, we too can call out to Jesus as we ask for His mercy. We can examine ourselves and see in what ways have we isolated or ex separated ourselves from others. You know, our present synodal consultation will be of great help listening to others, especially those who do not come to church. It's good to listen to what they expect from us, from the church. What are their aspirations, their wounds, their dreams? And listening to them will come, make us realize, little by little, the church that the Lord wants us to be. For the church is intended for all. Every day we receive favors from God. When we receive a favor from God, do we thank Him? Perhaps we can ask ourselves, how often do we give thanks and praise for all the blessings we receive? Out of the ten blessings, maybe, we remember to run back to Jesus only once, to praise Him, just as only one of the ten lepers return and praise Jesus for being cured. So to be grateful is to acknowledge our dependence on God. And so Jesus praised the foreigner, the Samaritan. Your faith has saved you. It is recognition that, uh, recognizing that we are in some measure indebted to God. So in this liturgy, we often express our gratitude. I'm sure you hear it in the preface. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation to give you thanks. As followers of Jesus, we not only ask Jesus for mercy, but also Show mercy to others. Pope Francis tells us that we must all care for life. 
To give life is to open our hearts. And to care for life is to give oneself in tenderness and warmth for others. To have concern in our hearts for others. Amen. God gives so much grace, healing, pardon, but we take Him for granted. We forget to thank Him. Let us bring our prayers to Him in a spirit of gratitude. The response is, in gratitude we call on you, Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord. That the church on earth may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we, we call, call on, on you, Lord. Lord. That we may praise and thank God for the gifts of life, faith, health, happiness, and the warmth of family, friends, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord. That we may always give thanks in every aspect of our lives for the love that God lavish on us by adopting us as His children. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord that the sick and those who find light burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord. That those who have died may join the saints in the worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. In gratitude, we call on you, Lord. God, our Father, we thank you for our lives and the new life you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and under your governance the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint leo you bid your church rejoice so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with a company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of, your, of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Siyang pumukaw sa ating puso at kaluluwa ang siyang nagdulo sa ating buhay ng gintong araw at pag-asa Pag-ibig ang siyang buklod natin Di mapapawi kailan pa man sa puso't diwa tayo'y salamang kahit na tayo ay magkawalay pagkat ang Diyos natin Diyos ng pag-ibig magmahalan tayo't mag at kung tayo'y bigo ay huwag limutin na may Diyos tayo nagmamahal Diyos ay pag-ibig Diyos ay pag-ibig
Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Ratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. The hearts of your faithful submitted to your name and treat your help, O Lord. And since without you they can do nothing that is just, run by your abundant mercy that they may both know what is right and receive all that they need for their good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace and be grateful for all the countless blessings the Lord gives you. Thanks be to God. Have a good day and a blessed week ahead, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you, Bishop.
pagsilan Huwarang ka naming lubos O Maria naming mahal Huwarang ka ng pagsunod Ika'y larawan ng katapatan Naging mababa
Oh, my God.